Vaping is the topic this weekend on Kern County In-Depth. And if you have teenagers in the family, we encourage you to ask them to spend a half hour with us and watch this program together. The cause of the some 1,000 cases of severe lung illness linked to vaping remains a mystery at this point. The only common denominator, the victims use e-cigarettes and other vaping devices. As you say, you know, and it's been pointed by the um, CDC, I think, I think it's prudent at this point to recommend to avoid all type of products. How, how do parents approach this topic with their kids and drive home the point of the dangers of vaping devices right now, especially with this spike in respiratory illnesses? You need to have ongoing dialogue with your children, in this day and age especially. So if one day you just come up to them and start talking to them about vaping, they may shut down. That ongoing dialogue. And first you need to listen. What are the signs that parents should be looking for in, in terms of vaping, either nicotine products or cannabis-derived THC products? Changes in behavior. You, like what? You know, your kids, if they're fidgety, um, if they start to smell like something sweet, a lot of these products are flavored. So if, you know, you didn't buy your child a candle or an airwick, you know, that's one of the signs. The latest on the vaping illness investigation, the link between vaping and nicotine addiction, and the suspicions about black market THC products as the primary culprits in the large majority of these vaping illnesses popping up everywhere, including here in Kern County. Kern County In-Depth this Saturday, 6 p.m. here on TV 17. We rebroadcast our program every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock on the CW Channel 12. And to see past installments of Kern County In-Depth, just log on to our website, kget.com, and click on the KSID webpage to watch them there.